Dave Parody here with another slide makeover video podcast based on the ideas in my book, The Visual Slide Revolution. Today we're going to talk about a specific situation, a type of usage of PowerPoint, which uh, is when you are designing your slides to be shown in what I, uh, I refer to as a signage situation. So that could be at a trade show, for example, when you're showing some slides as people are walking by your booth uh, in the aisle. It could be an electronic sign in a uh, public area of a building, or in the specific situation we're going to talk about today, uh, we're talking about the information channel of the TV in a hospital. So here's the, the slide that uh, typically is used, and what you see here is, is a list of all the different uh, services that, that are offered, and uh, on the phone you can actually dial a, a number and find out more information, or uh, sometimes it's even hooked to the TV and it'll, show, it'll actually show a video. Now the problem with this slide is, first of all, there's an awful lot of information, so you'd have to keep that up on the screen a very long time for people to really understand it. And when you move to the next slide, they're not going to remember everything that's here. There's no way. It's also organized, not necessarily in the way the audience, being the patients and family, would want, but it's organized simply by the numbers that somebody assigned to these various services and the, and the information or videos that show. So it's not really audience friendly. Here's what I did. Let me give you an example of a couple of slides that could be used in set, instead. So the first one would be talking about uh, the flower shop and the religious services that are in the hospital available for patients and families. So in this case what we've done is we've grouped a couple of things that are on the main floor so people probably saw them as they walked in and this is reminding them of that and how to get more information. Notice that it's grouped by what is geographically close to each other in the hospital, not by the numbers that are on the system. Second slide housekeeping and repairs. Again, things that are all related to what's going on in your room, cleaning your room and repairs to either the phone or the television uh, system. How do you get more information? How do you find out how that works? Again, grouped by what's going to be close to each other in your room. So those are more effective because it is more audience centered. Obviously they're more uh, interest as well because we are using visuals that show people what it is we're talking about and we're limiting our information to things that they can oh easily understand. Ah, Okay I get it. I know what to dial. So before we get to today's lessons again reminder more information on the book at www.visualslideRevolution.com more information on my training, consulting, videos, other resources at my main website, www.thinkoutsidetheslide.com. So lessons today for designing slides for use in signage situations. First of all, it's very, very important that you remember this is not about how the system was organized or designed by somebody years ago. It needs to be organized based on the audience's perspective. What are they looking for? How do they want the information organized? And because they're going to be walking by this or looking at it, limit your information. One, maybe two related points on a slide. If there's too much, they immediately get overwhelmed and they'll just move on. They won't take the information in, in a signage sort of a situation. And anytime somebody just glances at this sort of a slide, they need to be pulled in. They need to uh, have their interest peaked. So use meaningful graphics where somebody immediately can emotionally connect with it and understand what's going on and it keeps their interest then they'll read on to find out what the additional information is. And uh, as you saw in, in what I've done today, this setting does not allow animation because essentially what you're doing is you're taking each slide as a graphic and putting it into this signage application that is running on the sign or the, uh, the in this case the TV, the example we were using today. So if you have to design slides for these sorts of usages, and more and more we're seeing this as a vehicle, PowerPoint as a vehicle that people use to design these slides, keep the ideas from today's slide makeover in mind. Again, this has been Dave Parody with another slide makeover video podcast.